Hi guys, this is your sister Karen Gidden in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to talk about briefly the, 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 the locuses uh, that's been happening over the world, especially in Africa. Okay, we have the Middle East, we know the Middle East is Africa, but down, down that side. Now, in 2018, uh, I'm going to try, let, let me write this down because every time... Every time I say that I'm going to link a video in the description box, I always forget. forget. So let me just quickly write this down, brothers and sisters. Um, link 40 is warning. Okay, all right. In 2008, the ending of 2000, not eight, sorry. In the ending of 2000, and, in t the ending of 2018, I think it was on the 2nd of December, if I'm not lying, if I can remember rather, sorry. I think it was on the 2nd of, of December, but I'm going to link the video in the description box. I prophesied and I said that from that time, okay, I think it's the 2nd of December, don't quote me because I'm going to link the original video in the box. And I said from that time, 40 days warning. That God is giving a 40 days warning and after the 40 days there will be judgment that will be coming. And at the end of the 40 days, brothers and sisters, yeah, God began to pour out his judgment. Okay? And one of the judgment was a locust. And if you bring your memory back in 2000 and... 2000... Oh, God. 2000, I think it's 2018. If I'm not... 2008. We're in Mecca... There was locusts all over the place, on the floor, in their, you know, the Muslim, um, ch well, the churches, you know, their temples and all of that. It was very, very bad. And that was the beginning of God's judgment concerning the locusts. But you see, many people were not paying attention. Many people were not paying attention. So... The locusts happened and they totally forgot about it. But I never forgot about it because I know that was that was the beginning of God's judgment. Now, that locust happened down in Mecca. But since the start of 20, not 2020, brothers and sisters, some of you have read the news and read various articles. Africa, especially in Kenya and other um, uh, places in Africa, these locusts are back and they're back with a vengeance brothers and sisters and now they're in i think saudi arabia and in china these locusts what does this mean because you cannot turn a blind eye and just think oh they're just um crop eating insects no you cannot do that brothers and sisters you've got to open up your eyes this is one of the plagues this is one of the plagues in, in Exodus, you know, when God sent the 10 plagues to Egypt, telling Pharaoh to let his people go. This is, one of the, this is one of the plagues, and you cannot turn a blind eye to it. It started in 2018, and a lot of people think it's gone, it, you know, it started, and it has gone. It hasn't, and it's back, and the last I heard, it, when it was in China, um, Saudi Arabia, and other parts. Of Africa so I would not be surprised if it comes to the UK or the Caribbean I would not be surprised brothers and sisters you've got to wake up you must wake up very very important you need to read the ten plagues of Egypt you have to read the ten plagues of Egypt because what's gonna come next and I'm gonna touch on it okay what's gonna come next is the three days and nights of darkness a lot of people do not believe in this thing but i give god thanks and i'm very humbled for those who have watched uh my three days of darkness videos along with other watchmen and women on the wall for the lord and take heed i cannot convince anymore you know i i cannot i cannot convince anymore I just have to warn and just leave it. But brothers and sisters, the three days of darkness, is it is real. 
and it is coming it is so close i am telling you this thing is so close now a beloved in the lord uh left a message on one of my three days of darkness video i forgot the person's name and this beloved basically said you need to read joshua joshua not joshua not joshua joshua the book that they've taken out of our bible okay and he's and the, and the beloved said you need to read joshua 80 and he gave the verse and i've actually screenshot it and um I might leave the screenshot to run after the video um, if it can hold. I'll probably leave that screenshot. But it's Joshua chapter 80. Brothers and sisters, when I read it, because I read it for myself, it is talking about the three days of darkness and what happened to not only, not only the Egyptians, but to also to the disobeying Israelites, the ancient Israelites who disobey the lord they died a lot of watchmen on the wall say that when the three days of darkness happen a lot of people will be killed now i try to refrain from that personally because i have had a revelation of such concerning death of people and i try to refrain from that uh, I, I can't remember if I've said it in any of my Three Days of Darkness video that a lot of people will die. But reading Joshua, reading Joshua chapter 80, whew, brothers and sisters, the Three Days of Darkness is a, it's a serious judgment. It's literally a plague. It is a serious judgment because when I read it, even the ancient Israelite, the Hebrew Israelite who disobeyed the most high they died and the bible says that they were buried secretly they were buried secretly because the 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 the, the, the hebrews in back in ancient egypt ancient israel you know did not want did not want the egyptians <laughs> to know that some of the people had died in the three days of darkness so they were buried sick you need to read the book of joshua i'm gonna leave it okay i'm gonna leave it um the the, the book and the the verses link not linked up but screenshot and it's gonna run after this video it is very serious it's a very serious judgment and it is coming I've done lots of three days of darkness video you need to check my playlist it says three days of darkness when you have time go through them I've warned and I've warned and I've warned and I've warned it is coming you got your locuses next are gonna be flies and boils and all sorts gonna happen you know um so god is warning yah is warning another thing i want to mention concerning the three days of darkness because i had a vision last year when did i had it because sometimes i don't share my visions or you know uh, i don't share my vision straight away but i had a vision uh last year december 2019 and in this vision brothers and sisters the three days of darkness happened but it was ending you know but i in the vision i caught just a little snippet of it where the demonics because a lot of people think that these pestilence won't be running around in the darkness they can handle the darkness because only the only the wicked and the fallen ones and satan can handle this thick darkness that's going to come okay and and so in this vision at the end of it i saw a lot of demonics people who were possessed basically like zombies some zombie type people and they were walking in this darkness and then the darkness completely went completely went sun was shining everybody came out the house including myself we're talking to each other what happened obviously you know those of us in christ know exactly what had happened and we're telling people this is what happened this is god's judgment it's biblical and all of that brothers and sisters just a side note before i'm about to say what i'm about to say this is just a side note i have heard i have heard other watchmen on the wall say that 
after the three days of darkness, there's going to be some form of transformation that, you know, those of us in Christ, in Yah, in the Most High, that, that, that we're going to look, I don't know, we're going to look different or Holy Ghost, you know, Ruah is going to step up in, the, in, in our vessel that people are going to look at us and know that, wow, you know, we have the mantle of the Most High living inside so a lot of watchmen who have done the video i've said that i've never really said that because i haven't got i haven't got any form of confirmation or vision concerning transformation or what happens after the three days of darkness to the body of christ i've never and a lot of people ask me sister karen what's going to happen after the three days of darkness is over and i've never really answered them because i don't know what to say Last year, December 2019, as I said, I had a vision. And at the end of the vision, the vision started where I saw the demonics running around in the darkness and all of that. And then the darkness went and the sun came out and then we were all outside and we're talking. Brothers and sisters, as I was standing there, three angels, not one, not two, but three, three Malekis came up to me. And they said to me, Karen, and they had a dress. Actually, they had a dress, a beautiful, beautiful white wedding dress in their hand. One, one of the angels had a, the wedding dress in his hand over his, you know, over his forearm. And three of them that came up to me and they said to me, Karen, you are the bride of Yeshua. Just like that. Just like that, brothers and sisters. And I... I was taken back because the first thing that came in my heart and in my mind, oh yeah, you know, bride, you represent the church. That's that's what it is. So in my heart and in my mind is that, okay, you know, maybe I just represent the whole body of Christ, the church. And they said, you are the bride of Yeshua. And they gave me this wedding dress and they said, put it on. So I put this dress on, brothers and sisters, and when I put it on, oh, I looked so beautiful. It was just, the white, the color was just so radiant. It's amazing. Not a white like you see. This was a radiant white, beautiful wedding dress. And they stood there, these three angels, stood there just looking, you know, just looking at me. And they said to me, when you see the wedding party coming, you must go in front of them and walk in front of them because you are the bride. And brothers and sisters, as I said, I put this wedding dress on and they told me what they had to say. You know, when I see the procession, uh, the wedding party coming down, then I should go in front of them and walk in front of them. And they said that you're going to meet your husband. But I didn't know who my husband was because obviously they said that it's, you know, the, I'm the bride of Christ. So in my heart, I'm thinking... Is this Christ I'm going to meet or who is it? And so, brothers and sisters, as I put the dress on, everything just changed. My, my, my features, it was just an amazing, amazing transformation that I was looking at myself. And the, the three angels walked away and I just stood there just waiting. And I could hear in the distance drums beating, uh, lots of people. Like so many people, brothers and sisters, that my eyes could behold. Coming down, they were singing glorious songs to the Lord. And I remember the angel said, as soon as they're brought past you, you must go in front of them. So that's exactly what I did. So I saw this group of people, wedding people coming, and I just jumped in front of them and as i was walking beautifully so proud in my wedding dress i began to ask questions because i didn't have any flowers i didn't know who i was going to get married to or anything like that but in my heart i just think oh i represent the church so the church you know is going to get married or something like that and there's a little bit more to the vision but i'm going to hold i'm not going to share that i'm not going to share that part but there's a little bit more to that vision and then it, the vision ended and I came out. And when I came out the vision, I thought to myself, okay, Lord, what is this? Is the body of Christ, are we, after the three days, going to go through some form of transformation? Are we going to look different? Or 
I don't know, brothers and sisters, but I know that after the three days of darkness, we, well, I'm going to say we, we were told that we are the bride of, 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 of Christ, the bride of, of, you know, of the Most High. So I believe now, I believe, brothers and sisters, I really believe now that after the three days of darkness, that the, those of us who live godly <laughs> in the Most High, in Yah, that we are going to probably go through, I don't know, we might look different or we might have more power. I don't know, brothers and sisters. I don't know. But the vision that I got, and it was right after the three days of darkness and the sun came out and all of that, and the angels came and said, you're the bride of Yeshua and all of that. So it's exciting time. Yes, it's exciting times ahead. Uh, there's many, 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 many things to be unfold. So keep sweet in the Lord. Walk like Enoch. Walk like Enoch. Walk in purity, brothers and sisters. Walk in purity. So God eternally bless you. I love you all. And I will see you soon. Someday in glory. In Jesus' precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen. Thank you.